first one generating random text in microsoft so i'm going to generate a random text in microsoft word using a code that is equal r a n d open bracket 3 comma 5 closing bracket here rand means random text and 3 means 3 paragraphs and 5 means 5 lines in each paragraph now i'm going to press enter you can see it generates automatically the 3 paragraphs of text with 5 lines in each paragraph so this is the automatic random generating paragraphs or text in microsoft word for the next tip i'm going to create tables in microsoft word using a simple shortcut so i'm going to create a three column and one row table using simple shortcuts so first i'm going to enter plus symbol and i'm going to press tab and i'm going to type again plus symbol and tab and plus tab and finally i'm going to enter one more plus symbol and now i'm going to press enter key you now see what happened i bring the enter key. here it automatically create three columns one row table in microsoft word so for the my next step is i'm going to create new horizontal line in microsoft word with simple three shortcut so i'm going to create a new horizontal line between two these two paragraphs so i'm going to press enter now i'm going to press hyphen i mean dashes three dashes three hyphens now i'm going to press enter you can see it is automatically creates a new horizontal line between these two paragraphs you can create horizontal lines using this simple technique in this tape i'm going to show you how to delete left side word right side word in a cursor using a simple shortcut here my cursor is placed in the text box now i need to delete this text using a shortcut so i'm going to use control plus backspace so it is automatically delete the left side word if you want to delete the right word the shortcut key is control plus delete so you can use control plus backspace and control plus delete to modify or proof your document in this tape i'm going to show you how to select paragraph very easy using a mouse click so i'm going to show you how to do this. in this word in this document i'm going to select this graphic word by double clicking on here if you want to select entire paragraph you can just triple click on any paragraph so i'm going to i'm going to select this paragraph using a triple click so I'm going to triple click on here. You can see it will select entire paragraph. In this tape, I'm going to show you how to how to reset uh, your font style to default. Someone changes the uh, any word to another font like this. I'm going to change this click to another font like Adobe Fan Hattie. So if someone changes this, you want to bring back the default value that is default font in your document. Just select this word and use control plus space bar it will automatically bring back the font style to default font that is Calberry Bay. for the final tip i'm going to show you a very useful tip that is removing the empty spaces in a line starting so here you can see these two paragraphs are equally matched without any spaces in the starting but in the middle paragraph it is showing some space that is created using a space bar and it is adjusted to this forward so to remove these empty spaces we can use a simple shortcut key that is first select entire doc paragraph i'm going to press ctrl plus e it's going to align entire paragraph to center yeah you can see it is entire selected aligned in the center now i'm going to select ctrl plus l this will send the alignment to the left side here you can see the alignment changes to the left side and you can also see the empty space paragraphs is gone so if you want to adjust in the right side you can just simply use ctrl plus j to adjust the all into the justify alignment